guys, welcome back to Wet n Wild week day two. We kicked it off with day one where I was chatting all about their brand new collection, showed you demos, and chatted about all the new products. It is also exactly how I got this look, so I will link to it down below. Today it is all about the Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Catsuits. I have the entire collection of these liquid lipsticks, so I'll do a review and lip swatches. For those of you that are in Canada who have been trying to track down a Wet n Wild, the code Canada will get you free shipping on their website up until the 15th of the month. It is for over $40 and you need to go all the way through the checkout process to see that $0 for free shipping. But let's go ahead and get started. The Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Catsuit Matte Lipsticks have been out for a little while now. They are brand new to their line and they retail for $14.99. There are 13 different shades, which I think is awesome, ranging from quite nude all the way up to very deep. And you've got some bold, bright shades in there too, which I really appreciate. You get it in a really cute little compact package, which I always like. And there's a doe foot applicator on there. In my opinion, the doe foot could be a slightly smaller just to help with precise application, but it is really nice. It's got a nice curve on there as well to help kind of shape to your lips. These retail for $4.99, which is amazing and on their website. So it depends where you pick them up. The price may vary a little bit, but keep in mind if you're shopping at the drugstore uh, to look for coupons, sales, buy one, get one, all that kind of stuff. And as I mentioned in Canada, it is quite hard to find. So I recommend um, stocking up while that free shipping is is intact. So far I have really enjoyed these. I've tried out about three or four different shades throughout the day and I've had pretty good luck with them. Some apply a little bit patchier than others. Some apply with like one coat, others need two or three. The more coats you build up, the less smooth they look on your lips, if that makes sense. You definitely want to give these plenty of time to dry down before you go do anything. I would say they're about like 90% transfer proof and they do definitely dry down to a matte finish. I wouldn't say that they're like the most comfortable li liquid lipstick around, but they are really nice. It always helps if you apply a balm just before application when you're doing your makeup and then finish up with the liquid lipstick to add a little bit more moisture and make sure your lips have no dry bits on them. So you may wanna use a scrub or something like that. As for wear time, I think it's pretty good. Um, I've had really good luck with them. I don't find that they leave a horrible ring around my mouth. Some of the brighter shades and the deeper shades will leave almost like a stain on your lips and they do have pretty good lasting power. It lasted me basically throughout an entire work day. It did start to feel quite dry towards the end of the day and I just kind of avoided putting on a lip balm even midway through because I just wanted to test it out and see how it acted on its own. But I do think that it did a good job lasting on my lips. But for me, I don't mind applying like midway through the day or after lunch or anything like that. And it's a nice opportunity to like put on a balm and kind of reapply. I'm totally okay with that, especially for the price of $5 by no means do I feel like these are like just good for the drugstore I think that these are really nice liquid lipstick and they just happen to come with an amazing price tag I also feel like these are good for mixing together as you would have seen in that kind of full face wet and wild I mix them together and they mix really nicely especially for some of the really nude shades as you'll see in the beginning of my lip swatches even something like this I would generally rock with a lip liner but I thought I would try it out just like this today because it is kind of fun to wear like a really bold nude lip sometimes if that makes sense, bold and nude. Um, but overall, I've got to say I'm quite pleased with these, um, but let's go ahead and get into the lip swatches. <laughs>
the full collection of the brand new Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Catsuit Matte Lipsticks. I would give these a definite recommendation if you're looking for a liquid lipstick. Some are better than others. Some of the lighter shades can apply a little bit patchy and they just need a little bit more work. I definitely recommend a balm, but overall I think that these are great. Definitely um, recommend as well pairing these with their new gel lip liners because those are fabulous. Let me know down below if you have tried these or if you plan on trying them or if you're Canadian and you're like, yes, I'm gonna place an order. Um, keep your eyes peeled for Wet n Wild week day three. I'm going to be putting their new foundation to the test on my oily skin. If you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat at Samantha Jane YT, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!